Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, and I'm here to fix your tax and to share more tips on how to reduce tax filing your taxes. In this video, you will learn the meaning of tax mapping, what are violations might be imposed during the tax mapping. If you have been tax mapped, you should watch this video and know how to avoid paying additional fees for tax penalties. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my following videos. Let's get started. If you have a new business, you might not be aware of tax mapping and the possible tax penalties you might be paying because you do not know your obligations and duties as a taxpayer. In this video, I want you to list down the 9 tips on avoiding tax penalties during tax mapping. Or you can see the list in the description below. Or you can read the complete discussion on my website mentioned in the description below. What is tax mapping? Well it's a surprise visit done by the BIR staff to inspect compliance with the business registration and other rules and regulations of the BIR. It's commonly known as BIR, Tax Compliance or Plan Condado. In addition, it helps the BIR to monitor and identify those who are not paying the correct taxes and those not complying with the BIR rules and regulations. What are the tax mapping violation checklists? Did you know that the tax mapping violations range from 1,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos only, depending on the nature of the offenses? I will show you the tax mapping checklists, and if you have one of these checklists, make sure to get or you can drop your comments below to assist on how to secure. In this video, we will group the checklists into three, first is registration, second is invoicing and lastly is the others. Just remember the word, ROI. Here are the tax mapping violations checklists for BIR registration requirements. 1. Make sure your business is registered with the BIR. If you haven't registered, register it now before the tax mapping comes. If you want to know how to register, visit the link listed below. 2. Once your business is registered with BIR, you have to pay the annual fee on the first month of the following taxable year. If you paid the annual fee, make sure it is visible in your business facilities. 3. Also, once you register with the BIR, you are also required to issue official receipts or sales invoices depending on the nature of your business. You will be given a document that must be posted in your business facilities, and it would be better if you could place it near the cashier counter the sign or poster, ask for BIR receipts. After the BIR registration requirement, now let's move to the BIR tax mapping violations on the invoicing requirements. This checklist focuses on the issuance of receipts or invoices. 1. Not issuing official receipts or sales invoices to the clients or customers. 2. Second is, you might be issuing unregistered receipts or invoices to the customers. For example, if you're a VAT registered but you're issuing non-VAT registered, or on the other hand, a non-VAT registered to issue VAT invoice. 3. Refusal of issuing official receipts or sales invoices for personal purposes is not permitted. Now, let's move to our last group, the other BIR tax mapping violations. 1. Failure to withhold or remit withheld taxes at the time or times required by law or regulations. 2. Failure to file and or pay any internal revenue tax at the time or times required by law or regulations. 3. Failure to keep or preserve records required by law or regulations. This table shows the tax mapping violations and penalties. Before we move to the highlights, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. I know you're excited to learn these tips. Let's start. Step 1. Make sure your business is not illegal. What does it mean? You legally process the registration with the BIR. One the proof that your business is registered with BIR is having the Certificate of Registration or COR. If you don't have yet, make sure to comment below and let me help you how to process it. Step 2. Once you have secured the registration documents like the BIR Certificate of Registration, the BIR Form 2303, 
notice to the public, ask for receipt signage. Lastly, the annual registration payment receipt, Form 0605, you need to make visible in your business area that your customers and BIR staff could easily see. Step 3. Every January on the following year or taxable year, don't forget to pay or renew the annual registration fee, which is paid at the end of January of each year. Failure to pay this will result in paying more than the amount of the annual registration fee. So make sure it is part of your priorities. I hope you're still catching up. Moving to step 4. If you're using any cash registered machine or CRM or point of sales machine as POS, make sure to register this with the BIR. The advantage of using this is that you're not required to issue a written receipt or invoice, and it could help you to issue the receipt or invoice quickly. Step 5. Attach the original authorization sticker to any devices you're using mentioned in Step 4. Step 6. If you don't want to use any devices mentioned in Step 4, because you can't afford to buy, or your business might still be manageable. It would be best to use the prescribed manuals or invoices by the BIR. It means that you secured the authority to print your receipts or invoices during the business registration process. Step 7. Make sure to issue receipts or invoices for every transaction that exceeded the amount of 100 pesos. For those transactions that are less than 100, you can issue one receipt for all transactions that amounted to less than 100 in a day. Issuing receipts will help you in our next step. Step 8. Make sure to maintain the book of accounts for sales, purchases, and payment of expenses. If you don't know how to do it, make sure to subscribe and receive a notification on my next video regarding the proper use of the ledger and journal. And now, we come to our last step, which is step 9. Pay regularly the taxes before the due date. The earlier you pay, the better, don't wait until the last date of payment to avoid penalties. There you have. The 9 steps on how to avoid paying additional tax penalties during the tax mapping. If you have other tips and you want to share, please drop them in the comment section. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned giving you tips on how to reduce your taxes legally. First. Keep your accounting records organized. You can use some system or a simple folder to put all the payment vouchers, taxes paid, and other documents needed. Second, consider computerizing your payroll system. This advice will help you reduce expenses. For more tips, you can watch 5 tips on how to save tax legally in the Philippines. I hope this video helps you a lot. Before I end this video, make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. And see you at my next video.